Hi guys, welcome. Today we are going to be talking about the Merge 3D node. Let's get to it. Put in the Fusion Com from the Effects tab and put the playhead on it. Click on the Fusion tab and get to the Fusion page. We are going to pull in the first Merge node from the 3D Tools section on the Tools menu. We can also get it from two other sources under the Effects tab. Then under Tools, go to 3D, scroll down, locate Merge 3D, and pull, pull it into the node grid. You can also get it by pressing Shift Spacebar, typing Merge, and pulling in Merge 3D. Let's delete this too. You'll see that the Merge 3D has two inputs. No, it can take way much more than two inputs. In fact, I don't know if there's an upper limit. Let's pull in four image plane nodes just for an example to see how versatile, how many nodes it could take as connected to the Merge 3D. And we see it takes all of them. Let's pull in a text node and see it's not connecting to the Merge 3D. A Merge 3D can only take 3D input, right? But if you put in that text node, it can connect to an image plane, the green input of the image plane. But we'll talk about this in subsequent tutorials. Let's um, focus on what we've got here. So we drag this Merge 3D to the viewer. Let's change the position of each of the image planes. Go to the transform tab for each one of them and um, position them as you see fit. Right now, I'm just trying to see if I can position them around the central image plane. So I click on image plane 3D3. Click on the transform tab and move the X to the right. Then we go to, we, do, we add another image plane just to make them surround the central image plane. Um, let's click on transform and then the Y value is pull it down like that. So we have them all surrounding that. We can move around by holding down Alt on the keyboard and um, dragging the middle mouse button. So we want to change the color for each of the image planes. Go to material tab and change the color for each of them under diffuse. Okay. This particular step is not necessary, but I just wanted to make it just uh, a little bit um, colorful, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, we have that um, done. Now let's, you see, they're all connected to my 3D one, right? The beauty of this is I can go to transform on 3D1 and move all of them together, right, from within my 3D1. That's the beauty of it, right? Then for each of them, I can move them also around in their own 3D space. Like for now, I can move this red one forward, go to the next one, just purplish. I can move the Z backwards a bit. Then we go to the next one, which is the blue one. I can move it forward a whole lot. Then the orange one, I can move it for backwards just a whole lot. Like that. And um, you see, we have that done, right? Right, so now let's let's um, click on Merge 3D one. You see, we can still move everything together. Let's reset that and um, Let's position the view. Yeah, let's um, pull in another merge node. We can connect a merge node to another merge node. We have the same view. Whatever is connected to merge 3D1 can be controlled from merge 3D2 too. Everything from below there will be con will, will, can be moved around using the transform in merge 3D node. Right, we can pull in a renderer node, connect that to the renderer node, drag that to the viewer. Let's take lightning and shadow and change that to OpenGL renderer. It's dark. So let's pull in a light, a spotlight. Now let's connect the spotlight to Merge 3D1, right? And um, let's adjust settings for the light. Let's increase the cone angle to 90. For the transform, increase Z to, let's say, 2.2. And two works. Let's go to click on linear and then we have that done. Just something rough was to see what we're working with. Yeah. Now this spotlight is connected to my 3D one, right? 
And yet, when we move MERS3D1 around, the light moves along with the movement because they are all connected to MERS3D1, right? Moving on. Now, let's go to MERS3D2, add a text 3D node, connect that to MERS3D node. Let's just type, uh, what else? Mad resolve. <laughs> yeah. Then we go to transform. You can increase it a bit. That one was not was not really needed, but I did it. Let's go to extrusion. Let's just tie just a little bit, right? And um, let's see what we've got here. Let's pull, um, let's, in, let's reduce the size. It's a little too big, something like that. Let's drag my 3D to the viewer. Let's look at it from the side. It's too far from the image plane, so we'll push it back a bit. Yeah, let's look at render a 3D and see how it looks. We need to increase the size of the text. And I'm just doing a little housekeeping thing. Let's go to my 3D and see. I, we need to push it back just a little bit like that. Then go to my 3D, but that's fine. So now you see that um, the light on Merge 3D1 is not affecting the text on 3D2. If I want that to happen, I go to my 3D1 and I tick pass through light. So the light that I connected to my 3D1 will not affect what is connected to 3D2, right? So that's basically the whole joke of it. Let's add a transform node in between merge 3D1 and 3D2. Let's just do a little animation, right? Let's go to frame 35 and um, keyframe the Z position, go to frame zero and increase that to like 2.2. That works. Then let's go to the spline tool, tick Z offset, zoom to fit, select both keyframes, press F on the keyboard, and adjust the handles like this. And yes, something like that. Then let's play back to see how it works. Yeah, that's it. Now we want to apply this same transform to the text node. Let's copy this and paste let's connect it up and um, for this transform I want to push it forward the keyframes forward just a little bit to do that I open the keyframes tab I click on the drop down I increase the scale a little I click on there I see what we're working with here I select both keyframes um, let me select it well yeah and I move them forward by five frames, close the keyframe, and now let's play it. And that's what we're working with. So that's it, guys. That's it for the Merge 3D node. It's a simple node, but very versatile. Thanks for joining me, and um, see you on the next one. Cheers.